Whoa, easy there. Watch it, mate. Watch it, mate. Another time, then, mate. Well, everybody, tough times to get them cartoon characters to act up, right? But nonetheless, here's your new Music City Journal for this beautiful month of May. So let's get right up into it. everybody with some new background elements for the show and I would say are we ready and here we go and it's about uh, almost uh, finito with the month of May already and we're going into a new stage of summertime new stages also including uh, predators uh, concludes finally our triple whammy for a sports section now since we have the Titans with Ken Wiesenhut and the uh, uh, Vanderbilt area got a new coach for us as well and now it was time for Mr. Trot to hit the uh, to hit the season with his ending games right over here Trotz is now history and um, out of the Philadelphia neighborhood got Peter Level yet and I hope I got that name spelled right God forgive me and he is gonna come on up and hopefully get the Predators all the way up to um, uh, you know to the final Entering seasons uh, right where we need to be into uh, the game, the game seasons where you know the 12 seasons where they basically just uh, you know uh, couldn't get into it. So Trotz was basically a guy that was sticking for the Predators a long time, but now it's just um, even for him. Time out, and it's uh, a man here that was formerly known with the Philadelphia Flyers he's gonna whoop this whole thing in and we're just gonna see how this whole thing will come up for here as it will be by the numbers and also this man everybody well knows him Mr. Carl Dean our Nashville mayor has a lots of cool plans for us lined up and there we can say let's get into the details right over here where there's a lots of good news to reveal uh, for our 2015 fiscal year, we get a total outlining of $275 million worth of projects line up. And this in details reads, nonetheless, with $110 million, the largest chunk of the money is going to site for metro schools. In addition to some renovations for the schools, the plan also calls for $10 million for new buses and $15 uh, million uh, for uh, the new technology. Now, when the buses is a good idea, I think the rumor has it, uh, metro schools, the school kids, boys and girls will, as far as the rumor has it, uh, pretty much get free transportation. No more bus fare and fee necessary. Also, the bus transit itself get ex extended now with uh, rapid transit, which is the fast lines, which we already everybody experienced that down Gallatin Road and Murfreesboro Pike. Now, Towards the fall of this year, we will also have uh, Charlotte Pike to add on to a Nolensville Road Rapid Transit, which means almost in minutes you should be getting to your destination. I'm not really quite sure how this will play up with Nolensville Road forever, never ending traffic in here, which was forever gets, you know, piled up. But we'll see how this will have a um, player for us into this, into this whole section and we'll see uh, how this whole thing comes to game most definitely. Personally, I would say I would love to see an extension into the nighttime like we used to have it with the public transportation where we used to have the night owl buses. Some people might remember the night owl, midnight owl, after midnight until 12, 15 or so. You were able to get in all four directions with the consolidated bus. You would sit in and they almost would drop you off uh, pretty much on your front door but of course uh, that has not been the case anymore since they got into this uh, Music City Central this downtown bus facility so either way I've seen how this whole thing works and I'm hoping night services will be really soon added but nonetheless Carl Dean also has 63 million dollars set aside for public works including 
17 million to repair and build the sidewalks, which is definitely needed. A lot of places, even including our famous diggers from Road, has for the most part no sidewalks. And we are like, what, 2014? Come on, everybody. Time to wake up with this whole thing. So either way, another 30 million for paving roads and bikeways. And Nashville is another growing bike city. And we know just recently we got uh, through the marathon in here. Fancy weather, by the way. There was not even no rain in sight or none of the last year for the first time in a long time. No rain on top of that. Then... It gets into another good section, favorites for almost everybody now. Uh, $36 million also have been set aside for parks and recreation, including $3 million for greenways and $2 million for open spaces. So for parks and recreation, and we know this man has been basically the man for this particular session all the way. We can only say congratulations, Carl Dean. I would say this man is pretty much heading in the right direction here. I wouldn't even know. What else to do with this man besides, you know, keep it up, the good work. It's, it's all about, you know, families and everybody working so hard. So you got to do something with your free time. So how do you get to your job? Transportation, boom, round one. What are you going to do after your time? Recreation parks, boom, that goes round two. And like this wouldn't be even the end of this whole thing. Safer way of getting from point A to point, a to point B right after job, maybe to your parks, is the sidewalks, the bikeways. And I would say it's, it's a definitely win-win situation here. So... Speaking of another win-win ticket for us right here is also to give a little more details in here. Uh, the upcoming sessions, it's getting summertime and even before we're coming into the CMA Music Festival, which of course starts in downtown Nashville from June the 5th to the 8th, uh, bookings and all this kind of stuff will probably be, everything will be over flooded, tourists already hitting us up and it ain't no telling if there's any spaces left, but even if you're not into this kind of stuff at all, for music, for example, we got Indoor Round at the Bluebird Cafe. That's kind of like a nightly event. The Grand Ole Opry has um, Ryman Auditorium. Uh, uh, open things going on here. Uh, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, regular artists and open for visitation and businesses. Music City Roads, you find that at the Loveless Barn on Wednesdays. The Musicians' Corners on Centennial Park. It's already in progress right here. Uh, till the June, till June the 28th, or something definitely you want to check out. Probably also towards the weekend. And it's Charles Destin, Elizabeth Cook, and more. Grand Ole Opry, May the 23rd, and coming up. Morris say your Ryman Auditorium will be hitting us up on the 28th. And like I mentioned, uh, CMA Music Festival, I don't know if you really can see too well, June 5th to the 8th, Bonnaroo Music Arts and Festival will come right almost after that. June 12th to 15th, we might maybe have a little more details on this, but I'm trying to be local here. Music City is July the 4th. Let's Freedom Ring the Lawn at the Riverfront July the 4th. That's way up ahead of the game, and hopefully we can maybe come up with some uh, a little more details on this. And as you know, our monthly thing can never be without it on um, having a good old shot to live pictures. It's now getting 10 minutes after 2, 2.10 at this fancy afternoon right over here as our month really progresses into the ends of stages. We got May the 23rd, and this is what we're looking at right up here downtown. Beautiful day. It's getting definitely towards in the 80s, and when we're looking into the outlook, I'm getting to this weather here shortly, it's, it's, really, it's really amazing stuff we're seeing here with the temperatures. We finally got something here coming up. The north view out of us, guys, is still in the downtown. Looks quite nice. The river has settled itself down. Almost got into high water, but it doesn't look like any more from over here. There's a little clouds going on from the tower side of the sky cam area. And uh, if we're getting us one more good kick, then this will be, of course, the Vanderbilt view right on West End where a lot of stuff is happening right here. As you can see, all the way clear skies. They should be from here on up the case all the way into our summertime. Like I said, it took us a long time really to get there. If everybody not too long ago remembers what kind of temperatures we actually had to deal with, it was um, really um, hard to, to imagine how we had not one day without rain, sleet, or snow, and these are finally the temperatures where we need to be 85 degrees. A radar currently is even clear. And if we're looking somewhat into our 10-day forecast, I'm going to play this up in here. Only tonight a slight little chance of uh, some rain, and then it's going to break it down with a little bit less of a problem. Always somewhat in the mid-80s, somewhat high 80s. Uh, this coming Tuesday, 27, 92 degrees. And then with the low 60s, basically, always a mid to high 80s, so right where we belong, long time fighting for this. And we're going to take this thing worldwide real quick into old neighborhood, Mannheim, Germany, of course. And you see, just slightly a little bit cooler, there is still the nights, the 50s, and slightly fighting into the 60s, but sometimes even higher 40s with the higher of mid and higher uh, 60s.
to the low 70s. So this is what I've been used to and missing for quite some changes right over here in the coldest capital in the world right here. Here it is, Yakutsk from Sakahau, Russia. Let's see, for example, right now, dealing still with of a nightly 37 degrees. Of course, they're like already in tomorrow's days in the early morning hours. But I mean, look at this. This is now finally retrieving back and even those folks will have some rain coming up. Um, 60s and 70s for an high, very cozy temperature, but beware in the winter time, we've seen some temperatures way below into uh, minus 60 degrees. So yeah, they can have a little break and deserve it as well. And as we're gonna take us a live look right here into Mannheim hometowns that it seems to be working so smooth, it's unbelievable. At 68 degrees, that's live, that's in the evening hours right now, almost into the 70s here. And this is kinda like when it finally cools off, but like we had it before, it gets nicer, and warmer midday temperatures, just about typically for this time of the season, the warmer temperatures in Europe, Central Europe, I'd expect to hit us up by mid-June. And if we're stepping up again to our good old Nashville, here we go. This gets us on 85, just about the average temperature from where we need to be right now in this time of the year for the season. And uh, now, of course, everybody will enjoy at least uh, three months of uh, a nice warm forecast and it actually looks like again we will not have and this seems to be going toward a prediction for what I'm heard right now all of the summer summertime will not be as hot as what we have seen before in previous summers so we can easily still have uh, some warm temperatures but it will not get into the record-breaking terms so we're probably dealing with 80s and 90s and like I said forecast goes that we are a little bit below our average temperature so if we're going into the 90s That'll be just fine, and this will be probably just as high as it goes. No more hundreds, maybe. That might be some good news because we will we'll have that pushed up to further down south. Places like Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, maybe, and Texas, of course. They will have their fair share of some hot summer times to come. And like we said over here, this wraps up here a nice little forecast for this whole uh, session right here, as we are. And... Um, we can definitely say one more nice sunny look into the western area, into Vanderbilt, or a nice fancy look into our nice and really beautiful new convention center here with the guitar shaped top on the roof, where by the way, lots of sonar panel calling it home. Water also gets collected and recycled, and there's so much news about this alone. I mean, it's just about useful just to make some video footage, just about this little fella right over here. And downtown, beautiful, not no rain much, sunny weather, people are out and about, and this is just about the way it needs to be. And um, I would say, everybody, it was nice to have you in here again. As you can see, as we're improving here, this Music City Journal, step by step, we're getting a little better, a little more details in here. So, as always in here, you know it, stay in touch, subscribe, keep looking for the next Music Journal. City Journal is just about around the corner again. I was a little bit late with this little fella right over here still collecting uh, you know, some events in use, but the party will yet get started. So everybody hang in there. There's always some good things to come. Music City, you know the place to be. And I'll um, holler at you back real shortly then. You all enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Until later. Time to smoke a cigarette. Anybody got a lighter? Whoa. All them cigarette lighters are